Okay guys, this is a quick unboxing of a product that I had a company send me. I already cut the tape open on it. Got some air packaging in here. And the company is Saker. And they sent me a mini electric chainsaw. It's a four inch portable cordless electric chainsaw. 20 volts max. So it's a chainsaw and one battery. Inside the box, that'll be the cord to charge it with. That'll be the tool to change the blade, chain, bar. I see a little screwdriver here. Little Phillips screwdriver. And we got the battery here. And some bubble wrap. One point five amperes. Then the little chainsaw should be the last thing in here, I would think. Some instructions there. I see some oil. So there's the little chainsaw itself. I can get out of here. Just a little bitty boy. Patty will go on the end there. Baker. Guard over the chain. And like I said, there was a bottle of oil. In the bag. And then you have your instructions
Hey guys, I know you can't see me, but I've got limited space to do this in. This is talking about this Saker 20 volt battery powered handheld mini chainsaw. Now I've already shown me unboxing this, so you've already seen what all comes with it, but to go over it again, there's a little bottle of oil for your chain bar. There's a Phillips screwdriver. And there's the tool to loosen your bar so you can loosen and tighten your chain. There's the plug to charge the 20 volt battery pack that is on the saw now. You to uninstall the battery pack you will just push this blue button in and pull out and it comes right off this charger plugs in to the top of the battery pack like so and then of course you would plug it into the wall and uh, that would charge this now it already had some charge when it came new in the box i plugged it in to make sure that the light turned green so that it was fully charged before I went outside and did some sample cuts. This also comes with a instruction booklet. Everything on it is pretty simple. You can see the nut that you would loosen if you need to adjust your bar chain tension or if you would need to change it out. Just a little nut and then this cover pops off make sure I hope I'm in your camera you have the sprocket gear here that the chain wraps around your tensioner is in the bar right here on the bottom there is a Phillips screwdriver that you can access. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it is through the top right here. Clockwise would be tight and counterclockwise would be loosened. But you only have to take the cover completely off when you're putting a new chain on. I just wanted to show you what it looked like inside here put this back on you just line everything up put this nut back on and snug it up it doesn't have to be real tight just tight enough so you don't lose that nut This is the, the guard, and when you watch me cut through the wood, you'll see how it moves out of the way effortlessly. This is four inch chainsaw, and what I cut through was about the four inch max. Now you could cut bigger, you would just have to cut half of it and then go to the other side and cut that out. When Saker contacted me about this saw and asked me if I wanted to do a review on it and try it out, I was delighted because I've actually been looking at these little saws, thinking that I wanted one to keep in my Jeep as we explored forest roads and trails because several times we have run across little trees or limbs that have fallen in the way and it's small stuff that you really need to cut out of the way, but pulling a big chainsaw out every time is a pain. So if you have one of these little ones handy with a battery charge, you could just hop out with this, cut the limb out of the way, that way your Jeep doesn't get scratched up, or the, cut the limb out of the road, you know, depending on how big it is. 
and uh, keep on going on your way. Pretty simple. Now my Jeep actually has a 12 volt plug or a 110 plug in the back that I can plug this in. If it's went, if I've used it and the battery's low, I can plug it in my Jeep and recharge it. Or if I have my dual battery set up in the Jeep, I have an inverter inside the Jeep that I can use to plug stuff like this in and keep it charged. But as you saw outside, I did cut through a few logs. Uh, for video time's sake, I didn't go crazy, but I did prove that it will go through some wood. Now, although the wood that I cut is seasoned, uh, I have no doubts that this would go through green wood just as easy. And we will be using this uh, from now on. And when we're out exploring the, the woods, it'll always be with us. And if we need to uh, cut something, I'll try to get some video of us using it. And that way we can get an idea of how reliable it is and how long it'll hold up. And if there is any problems with it. So stay tuned to our channel for that because you will see this little saw being used in the future. Uh, this is perfect for cutting up little limbs around your campsite if you want to have a fire. Uh, you know, it's you can see the size here. And when I'm at the campsite overnight, I normally just try to cut the limbs up that's laying around uh, the site. I don't haul wood in. And uh, having something like this to just chop those limbs up to get them the right size is a uh, a great tool to have in your toolbox. If there's any questions that you might have about this, be sure to put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you about it. Uh, and like I said, I'll put a, a link to where if you want to purchase one of these, you can go to the description and just click that link and pick one of these bad boys up. Now, it does have some heft to it in the motor area. You can feel the weight. It looks really good. Now, if you wanted to take this bar out, you could. It's just one Phillips screw right here. And if you wanted to take that off, you could. But it wasn't in my way for what I was doing. So uh, it will remain on there unless I have a problem with it. But so far, I do not. And for safety sakes, I'm not going to tell you to take that off. It does have a safety button. You have to push this in with your thumb before you can squeeze the trigger. So it does have safety features built in. Let's see. Okay, I'm reading the box on some of the selling points for this saw. And it says a Saker mini chainsaw is equipped with a 20 volt rechargeable lithium battery, which can be used for a long time, charging at any time, convenient and fast. It's small and convenient, quick and easy to assemble. The Saker mini chainsaw weighs 1.1 kilograms, including battery. It can be used with one hand and will not tire you out after long-term use. It's suitable for family and temporary work. Even the elderly can use this chainsaw. The Saker Mini Chainsaw adapts to a high quality guide chain that has undergone a deep quenching process to ensure smooth cutting in addition a pure copper motor is used, which is very powerful. Cutting efficiently is higher and faster. Satisfaction guaranteed. We are confident in the quality of the product in the process of daily use. If the product has quality problems or you have any questions about the product, please feel free to contact them. And it has customer service and their website. Saker. Electric mini chainsaw. Pretty cool guys. Uh, like I said, I've been looking at these for a while and uh, I'm 
looking forward to trying this out of our next campsite when we do a campfire. And like I said, if there happen to be any limbs laying in the road as we're passing by, I'll just pull this out and chop them up. It'll work great on the little stuff. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. Keep eye on our channel and you'll see this saw in use more and find out if it's something that you want. Y'all have a good day.